At the edge of the Klamath National Forest, there's a dusty road that'll lead you to a rare and intriguing natural phenomenon. Well, you don't want to slip and fall on this hike, John Bartell here. Make it a little pit stop at Little Glass Mountain. About a thousand years ago, lava deep within the bowels of Earth oozed out of the Medicine Lake Highlands, and as it cooled, it turned into a glassy rock, black as night. There's a good one up here. Flash forward to today, and you might find the Louie family exploring the hillsides for obsidian. What is obsidian? It's this, this rock. Volcanic rock, yeah. <laughs> Got mighty hot, apparently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> turned to glass. For four generations now, the Louis have come here to this sun-beaten black hillside to marvel at the geologic wonder and maybe throw a rock or two. The view is pretty cool. You can also, you know, sometimes you can toss a rock down and it'll make a pretty cool landslide. Just like glass, obsidian is brittle and sharp, so Little Glass Mountain is not an ideal place to hike. They've slid down before in like mm -hmm. long pants or short, but it shreds your clothes on the way down. So obsidian glass flows are not that common. And this one's especially unique because it was formed just a thousand years ago. And that means we get a good look at what a glass flow looks like before the elements cover it. It's illegal to collect obsidian at this location without a permit because of its geologic and cultural importance. Obsidian has been used for thousands of years by Native Americans in the area to create a variety of tools from knives to arrowheads. And that's because the edges of obsidian get so sharp, they're sharp as a scalpel. If you didn't cut yourself up on the rocks and you want to get an aerial view of Little Glass Mountain, I suggest following the dirt road up the hill to Little Mount Hoffman Fire Lookout, which is just one of the few fire lookouts you can actually reserve and sleep in. So it's uh, it looks a little cozy in there. Uh yeah, except for like all the flies and whatnot. On my visit, I met Neil Green, who was kind enough to show me around inside the 1920 style lookout. Uh, there's not really a whole lot. There's this stove, which I have no idea how to use. There's this truly terrible cot that kills my hips. You got a table. What the fire lookout lacks in luxuries, it makes up for in views. From the porch, you can see both the Klamath and the Shasta Trinity National Forest. And there's even a neat little spiral labyrinth that overlooks the volcanic hillside below. From Little Glass Mountain, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.